ओके हाय मोनत हेलो यस यस कौशिक यस सॉरी कौशिक यस्टरडे एक्चुअली आई वाज बिजी विद सम अदर टास्क सो आई कुड नॉट एबल टू अटेंड ओके सो हाउ यू फील माय ट्रेनिंग दिस या इट्स इट्स वेरी गुड बिकॉज़ यू आर डीप इन द कांसेप्ट्स एंड आल्सो your uh, like live coding right it's really uh, wonderful uh, kaushik okay so today uh, we are going to discuss uh, about that if we have some html pages right yes means we required some html pages or website so how we can convert this thing na so this uh, is required some skill set means like we have to know the bootstrap how and where i can add the bootstrap files and if the bootstrap element is there then how we can add this bootstrap element this we should ever okay so okay. let me see on my screen just confirm my screen is visible or not uh kaushik one request yes uh, can you please uh, uh, like at least tell me the concept uh, like what yesterday and day before yesterday you play, you okay so yesterday we had a discussion on next js okay okay it says so, server side rendering ssr okay Means sometime your website in which is made in react that not be means sometimes it will reload or starting with that client side right yes, yes. sometimes it should be server side so if you are using server side like node js okay then how we can set up the react okay okay and also the next js that is dedicatedly for that ssr server side rendering this process okay okay so that is that was the discussion and day before yesterday we had discussion about the redux toolkit with thunk this process okay. that we have done okay okay so thunk is a middleware and create store currently is out of the scope means create store is not dedicatedly used in the market okay so instead of that we are using redux toolkit at the okay. of redux toolkit okay okay then how we can add this thing so that today's discussion was about okay. so redux part is already completed i have done already five or six uh, sessions in the redux toolkit okay redux okay. thunk redux redux to everything is there so okay. today's discussion is basically about we have html page right yes some okay. html pages is there so it mostly goes to that who are coming from the ui ux group but we all know this thing right if yes. we have some html page how we can convert certain uh, website we have to convert from that react html to react pages and what need we have to cover on that part okay yes. so this some element i have created okay you can see this some element but which uh, first we have to know that behind that uh, the structure whatever i have created the button color whatever i created which framework and the react we are using so that is your first i always prefer if you ask me then it will be obviously react strap this framework okay this is one framework which is combined react and bootstrap okay okay if you are using bootstrap in your project and if you in the react project then this framework we are going to use okay react strap so here you can see the installation steps react strap how we can install every step are provided here okay how to install react strap and if you some widgets like button hmm, like button so you can get the code also be you have to install and then you have to write this code this is for the button widgets this basically for the widgets purpose okay if you have some cards this card how we can use okay you can see the total code is there inside the page right okay this is one useful website where you can I mean someone converting their web pages into react element or react component and they have required minimal setup and good looking website with the responsive design then they can pay for this so it means react strap so you can go through this thing 
everything means whatever is required from the website na button card model everything is the drop down everything is there in the website a uh, kaushik okay uh, you can go drop down yes kaushik yes. one minute actually yes actually, actually we are using bootstrap we were using bootstrap right for uh, any ui yes. development uh, bootstrap, bootstrap, yes, yes, bootstrap also will come. First, we have to know React okay. okay. So, how can set up bootstrap? That I also tell you. I have these projects, okay. Not an issue. So, React app is combined with the bootstrap. That is also bootstrap. If you see the setup, if you see the setup, this is the React app project, right? So, if you okay. see the setup, we can see in the package.json file. Na? Uh, not this one, I think. Yes, react to this one. You can see in my packet the JSON. You need to install this React strap. Okay. Okay. React strap you have to install and the components. What is there? You can see everything they have provided from the React strap, like button, alert. What is required now? You have to just import. Hmm. And you have to write the code over here. Like you have required some button and make the color. You have to pass the attribute danger. So it becoming a red color button. And you have some success. So it becoming a green color button. Okay. okay. So everything is predefined. You have to install this React step, this version, and that is uh, installation, npm install react step react dom these three packages well, react and react dom you are installing right along with that you have to install react step this thing okay, okay. and then you get uh, like button model if you want to create the model if you want to create the like my model this is this model is coming from the bootstrap but some component enhancement is there in the react okay so this is the place you can see okay these all widgets are coming from the bootstrap packages this is one react step project you can add you can okay. install okay question is bootstrap right if you are going to install bootstrap in my project So you have to just step over. So if you are going public HTML page in the HTML page. Hello. Uh, in the HTML page, you have to just add this bootstrap link. You can see this bootstrap link you have to add. Okay. And related to the JavaScript, what is required for adding the bootstrap, this link also you have to add. Then your bootstrap is ready. Okay. This page, you have to do these things. Okay. And then if you going to add the element like class name these classes are coming from bootstrap so if you go to the bootstrap side this is a bootstrap website right yes so your class everything you can get and also you can install npmi bootstrap is there so you have to add this thing in your project npmi install your bootstrap also be added over here okay this is the this is the package if i'm not installing over here i am using through that cdn link okay through my cdn link i have added the bootstrap also you can add npmi install this thing 
your project and whatever the classes they have used then you can use these classes in the custom booster package right So here also every component I have. So you will open this site, different browser, split browser. So you can see the model, model window, bootstrap model, everything is there in the React side. So you have to add the React along with bootstrap. But this package is combination of React plus bootstrap. Okay. Okay, I want Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. So you understood, right? Yes, yes. Now, I have one website that I have created earlier. So that first I have to open these things. Right click with the project folder. Just I have to open this thing. Yes, so we open. So this, this is the website in Bootstrap, okay? So you can see home, about us, our value, these pages are coming. But if we have this kind of HTML pages, so how we can convert in small chunk of React component, right? So if you see, First, yes, so this this is the layout of this kind of website. Means if any website is coming, so you have to separate in different components, right? So the header component will be there, navigation component will be there, your logo must be the slider component so this is the section in that section you can get like different different component you have and on that basis we have to create the wrapper and create the component separately and make sure that our component is related to each other through the app router means that the browser route inside the browser router react to that browser router so instead here it has separate component right 
cooler is separate component and inside the app router is there so in the app router the navigation link i have added route uh, route path i have five or six pages so this pages name i have added okay and inside my pages this is my page folder inside the page folder i have added this component about us contact if you different component that can be child component that can be nested component you have to add and from that routing you just route your pages like i have switch and uh, switch is basically used in the routes in that react 18 version or uh, updated version we are using switch instead of routes but previous version my current version you can see that 16 something the previous version it was in routes now it replaced to switch so in the switch you have to add the routes okay and you can see that uh, i have added the css on kind of things in the layout and style that has been linked okay you can add your css parts Um, yes hello okay so in the index.js file what i will do in the router part and app app i will add and inside the app inside the app i will take that three components header app router and footer in the app router pages the pages are there and we have to get the output like if you have the pages these pages you have to add over here and also this page is responsive so earlier i had a normal html pages that html pages i have to convert in different component in react is there any questions on that if you have some data like data you can also add and this you can see the header component inside the header component i have navigation component also be there all the navigation related thing I have created over here. Uh, and one more thing, like how, yes. can, how can I access the DOM? It's a document dot object, uh, sorry, document dot get element ID like that only, or is there any special methods? No, in DOM you can access, means instead of document got dot get element by ID, that is also work, okay? Okay. But you are using in the React environment that is use rep okay. use rep hooks one hooks is there okay yes. okay that hooks you have to add in the functional component and create ref that is in the class based component okay. you have to creating the hooks okay. and then you get the data suppose you have some input type text right yes this value you want to grab so i suggest ref you have to use use reference anchor right Okay. Don't use document dot get element by ID because that same old, same thing also work because document dot get element by ID is normal JS right okay. in the JS environment everything is work okay. but why if React has provided us some kind of features okay. the extension then why I'm going to use this thing no? we can use uh, definitely that use ref folks okay. 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 So navigation inside the header component, I have navigation component, and inside the navigation component, these things are there. Okay, these pages, and then you can create and set up your one web pages website. Okay, okay, these, these things, and uh, one more concept that is, and you have the yeah, bootstrap website that if you go there the installation if you have installed bootstrap now in your project you just follow the documentation npm install react bootstrap everything will be installed okay and you have to have button button classes and that method i have shown if i have cdn link inside the cdn link we can use this value right this you have to add in your html pages and in the html pages you have to add these things 
and also chunk of CSS. We have some CSS files. Then you have to import the CSS, bootstrap main.css. And this link you have to add in the header part. Okay. So this is the typical installation of bootstrap and react. If you want to combine both that, then you can go react strap. That is a kind of features where react and bootstrap they have created as a combined method and then you can use this thing otherwise if you want to install bootstrap there is two methods cdn and you have to install these things these two methods are provided and for the style purpose if you want some style that is also style component so in that style component This is a style component, okay? So in the style component, you can also install the style component. This is for CSS part. Today's session basically HTML, CSS, and Bootstrap part, okay? Because sometimes you have to control about the HTML. Some pages required. If you UX UX team, they have create these pages website. But from your side, you also know these things. Those are working in the data side they should know this thing so that is one web style component in the style component you can think that i have created the title how style dot h1 so h1 tag will be affected and in that header tag you can get the if you add these attributes from the css so you can get the title and if you have some wrapper cons wrapper style section so how to install same thing you are going over there and npm install save style component you have to add if you are using npm then you have to install npm install style component if you are using yarn environment then you have to yarn add this is a node package method. in the package.json you can see the style component I have used. This is so the NPM I install style component. And then in the style component, here I'm using routes no one place i've used style yes you can see the style dot footer so my footer uh, inside that the and this is my id right and then what you have some class then you can add this footer and the hello so you can also create the css style with this style component otherwise you can use inline style you can use external style sheet or you can add cd and link for the bootstrap you can use this thing but style component if you use so you have to import the style <coughs> everything is maintained you no need to create other methods so just you have to import and you have to just uh, if you go in the style component, so everything is there in the style component. Every if you request some theme, your theme you also get the child method. Everything you will get from the child component. And then if you want to extend these methods, you can if you have some class, this class you also have. Okay. For the CSS thing, we have used style component. You have used Bootstrap. And uh, one more imp important thing. That is, if you are using uh, the SAS, this is a SAS. So CSS with superpower means uh, it's a predefined template. We can see that SAS. Okay. So if I have SAS file, sometimes your project is scalable, right? So it might be extend so many pages so many css we cannot 
manage all the CSS files. So different different CSS file we cannot manage. So suppose you have one header and a header background color is black or red, and you have to define multiple places the color. Then if you want to change the color or image, whatever you have to add, it's given some that every places you will go and you can go and change. So in the SAS, we have some variables concept, right? In this variable and the mixing concept is there. So that you have to add in your project. And that also I have uh, documentation also I have. Yes, so I'm just open. So you can see, this is the syntax of SAS. So this is also CSS, CSS template, CSS compiler, you can say. And now in the assets folder, I have write some variables like font size, like 16 pixel, okay? If I will change my font size over here, and I will not hard coded set the value, I just add the value to your, mm, you can see, I have added the variable, right? Font size. If I will change the value in my variables, so this value automatically change over here. So you suppose you need font size 10 pixel less or only 10 pixel or five pixel. Then instead of writing the hard coded, like I have font size five pixel. It also works, but this is the hard coded value. Na? We, if we need some changes and suppose you have some CSS in multiple places, then everywhere you go and change, right? So instead of that, you need to add that. And, uh, have you imported that one using the link tag? Uh, link tag means? Uh, how do, like, how you import one CSS, CSS file into another CSS? Yes, yes. So you can see now, you in my style module, now, uh. this is my main module, I have import my mix in. Okay. Okay. Yes, at the rate of import and mixing, and inside the mixing, I have input my variables, colors, and font. So these properties I can access. Okay. Okay. And you have some fonts, so I have input the fonts. You have mixing means you have you want to create some methods in the CSS. JavaScript means uh, method means is the function, right? Mm -hmm. And you can pass parameters also. Okay. From that parameters, like if you have to in, add that one value required 10 pixel and one place is required 20 pixel. So instead of normal writing that variable, we can pass some method. And in that method, we can add the value. And then it will be added. Okay. You can see include prime font. This function I've added. Whenever you have this method mix in, you have to include this. Okay. This is a set style structure, okay? But when it will go to the browser, it will render as a CSS. You have to compile each and every time, okay? If you are working in the set, you have to compile. And I think modern browser in the Chrome, they have also access to CSS files currently. But when I started that time, you have to convert this thing. So everything you have to do some renderer file is required and with the renderer file you have to import this so you have to include this file wherever this function is required you have to include wherever this function is required you have to mix in extend the method you have some nested function also be there in the component you can see in the style module i have some x nested component something that if you css is there right same list li so normally what I will do for writing the CSS, this thing, right? Whenever write the CSS, but in the SAS, I can write this thing, Eli. Here I will put the value, okay? But when it will render, 
then it will generate this this way sample list dot or li this value will generate from here so this is the utility of sas so every places that before i just added and and before and this value will be added so sas is very useful those are uh, working in the large enterprise project or scalable project so sas is very useful then you cannot man manage these things by your own because you have to set your variables you have to learn color everything is defined right color in the variable format if you require to change the white the different color you can add the color you can go and if you rename that so wherever the variable this white variable is used everywhere the color will be reflected as red Okay, so this is the utility. You no need to go and hard code it. You have to set. Okay, these things. So this is very useful features. And one uh, more thing uh, that if we have HTML pages, sometimes it's not possible to convert the HTML pages one by one, line by line. You have to copy and paste in the component, right? So I have uh, have to create one component. If you have some HTML, right? If you have some normal HTML, this HTML without any help of any designer or uh, developer, those are working in the UX. So you can also convert this thing by your own. You will require some HTML pages, normal HTML pages, and then you have to go and you have to convert. That I will show you. So, auto HTML convert. What is required? First, you have to install one package. Uh, npm i globally you have to install html react components so this is required first you have to install wherever you have to apply means if you have some html pages this html pages you have to convert okay. This is required. So HTML to React components. Now, CMD code. As an example, I'll create one HTML page like index.html. Index.html page like navigation dot js or i have components Layouts. 
Okay, I'll create one HTML pages. Normal HTML page I'll create. Meta tag you can use those. We have title tag. Then you have one body. And here you have one header. And inside the header, you have one each one and nav. Yeah. And I have one main component and I have also footer. So in the header, I have one class header. And in the H1 class, I have one heading bar. Now, what you want to convert that HTML to components, you have to add one attribute data component is equal to header. And data component is equal to heading. Make sure this first letter should capital. Okay, page one and hello. In the navigation bar, you can add ID or you can add lab bar and data component. Navigation into the navigation component. I have some evil Eli and Eli. I have some link mm, home HR just basic. about mean plus number and also data component that is mean and you have some hello world mean content In the footer, I have one class that is footer and data components. Peter footer. Just one structure of HTML I have. Okay. This structure I want to convert. So you no need to go that header and write the class create JS file. I am writing this thing where where your HTML page is there na, in that HTML page. You have to take other prompt and then HTML2 react index dot HTML you have to write. That means this is a command I will convert our index.html. Where the HTML is there and data component is there, it will automatically convert. Then I go you can see the successfully generated five components in the component directory. Go there 
the component directory no, sir. the components are ready the navigation component header component everything is ready i i have creating two components heading and navigation so data components then two components they have created so if you have normal html pages and you have you have these packages with the data component we can get the components over there and these components you can set in your uh, react project so automatically it will run okay so i think it's very helpful for working the html pages those are working uh, can we convert from uh, JS file to HTML? HTML. Now yes. you have, yes. Now you have showed me showed us index HTML. No, file. actually JS to HTML is not always required, right? Okay. I I have HTML pages. Always you have to convert your HTML project or website okay. from the HTML page source, right? Not the JS. Okay. JS is working inside the react component okay but someone has given to you html pages that html pages what you will do then you have to go create the js file and then you have to create the class and then you will add right yes 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 so instead of that if you have these packages and what you want to make the component right okay. so header header i want to make a component so data components i will add okay Mm. So, and first letter should be capital header h okay okay so this header automatically you can um, it understood that you have to create the header component and inside that i have heading and navigation bar right okay so, so heading and navigation bar they also you go there and in that uh, yes html pages but so, in order to work data attribute data if one component we need data components uh, we need comp we need one library right that is html to re react html to react component this package you have to add in your okay. project okay. okay okay then only html to react this command will work okay where the command i have used now here HTML to React, okay. This, this will work. So index.html instead of other HTML page, you can also add. This HTML also work. So this is the thing. So this all about if working a project where HTML page is there, you need to convert very quickly these things, right? In the component. Then you should do this thing. Wherever your CSS, everything is there, it will be converted automatically in the respective components. Okay. And also, you can one tool is there that is uh, where you can use your HTML to JSX, like. This is the site. If you have some HTML page, then you can also convert the JSX file. These are online, okay? This site also helpful. So we have to remember if you are working in SAS or CSS. Then SAS renderer you required, style component also required, these things. And your H transform dot tools where if you have some HTML, then you can convert HTML to JSX. And also successfully you have generated the components from that HTML to React. These packages. The booster. Many ways you can convert.
your HTML things. You can add the Bootstrap HTML for creating the website. Okay, anything questions? Or not others? Uh, no, 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 Kupshi. So these things is today's session is basically about what the <coughs> HTML CSS conversion page. Right? <coughs> so might it's required some uh, help in your projects. That's why I thought that uh, these things would bring into the notice, right? That's why I've added. So I'll share the files, these files, okay? Okay. These things. And, and also these projects. Uh, this is the projects and this project. Total HTML project, okay? You can see the conversion page, how to convert your page about contacts, these things, okay? And one thing I just trying to discuss uh, in uh, everyone in the React project, uh, I not you are also in the currently in uh, Angular project. project. You are Angular, Angular, project, Angular. Right? but yes, 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 yes. yes. and use from the uh, Python. Yes. Okay, and Adiva. <clears throat> Hello, Adiva. I suggest you need to practice this thing that I am doing. Have you uh, get the opportunity to get to see these previous videos, all of you? Yes, yes. Okay. So you should have, I think, uh, four or five sessions are left, okay? Okay. And you have to appear the metal test that you all know. Yes, yes. And you have to complete one project. And your metal test score should be 75% and above. Then you will get learning with certified developer, uh, React developer certification. Actually, it was before 60%, right, Kaushik? Uh, no, no, no. 60 to 74%. If you get, then it will ah. get attendance certificate, professional, not professional certificate. Okay. 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 And below sixty percent, we are not getting certificate. Okay, but we have two chances, right? Or only one chance? No, this is I think only one chance you have to complete. Okay. React this React cost training certification. Okay. Actually, Angular. Uh, sorry, Node. We had two metal test uh two metal test but that time also you remember if you remember then i told that the percentage criteria also be different 60 percent or something that i told right in the oh, node okay okay but currently it has been changed already okay. so whatever i got information that is 75 percent you have to get mark okay okay then only you get certificate you have okay. to appear in the metal test so after uh, completing the sessions, all the sessions, then you go, I mean, after two or four days, you have to sit for the exam. So I'll, uh, I mean, so added in your group also, the metal test link, metal test, everything, okay? For as per your CL, CL level, you have to choose the metal test. Someone on CL5, CL, is not so that CLC, there will be different, yes. different kind of metal test will be there. Okay. Then you have to appear. Okay. 
and I hope everyone should get good mark. That is because everything I I think I have covered lots of things in the React, right? So many things I have covered. Uh, yes, uh, the React thing. And also uh, next few sessions we have to come. Concept. Okay, I think to be started from the seventh. Okay, if uh, any questions are there, oh, owner, have you tried in your uh, this thing that you project? You can also try the angular side also this thing, or in the oh. React side also. Okay. 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 Some angular conversion you also get, but React conversion for that part, you have to add React HTML packages. Okay, so that is required. Means sometimes you need to change something HTML pages. You have to go your developers or UX group, right? So that means you are telling we can convert Angular to React. No, no, not Angular to React. HTML to Angular or HTML to React. Two things. Okay. Not Angular to React. How oh, they are different. Uh, framework and that that no chance. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. HTML okay. is a source, then you can change. But okay, I think okay. not from the Angular to the not possible. Okay. Because sure, Angular sure. components are different, na? Yes, yes. Components are different. Different. And their okay. life life cycle hooks are different. Everything is changed over there, right? Oh yes, yes. So that thing uh, not possible, obviously. But this session dedicatedly for that. HTML, CSS, this part, okay? Oh. Because this is also required if you are working in a project. So you should know, you not write the code for the HTML part, but you should know the structure of the HTML and CSS, right? Okay. These things. That's the reason. And also, next day, I think we'll go some uh, your. Uh, on cloud repository, I can show you. The, the data is in the cloud. How can we fetch the data in the real React component? Okay. Okay, then we should wrap the session. What is it? Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. If you have any questions, otherwise you can wrap. And obviously, make sure that you're POC will be there and metal test also be there. Okay. So that you have to complete for getting okay. a certification. This part. Okay. Bye. Thank you all. Bye. Bye. Bye.